Have an amazing, incredible, and fantabulistic Minecrafting fam. And happy, wonderful, whimsical, wonderlusting, wishing wellness, walk about what, what, hump day. <laughs> Welcome back to the Minecrafting Doc channel. As you can see, I am back home. And I hope you're all doing incredible, wonderful, and amazing. My name is Caridad. I am your mind host. I have an LMHC, Licensed Mental Health Counselor, and an EDD, a doctorate in education in counseling psychology. So, let's just get started because today, not feeling my best. I really <laughs> thought I wasn't going to make it here. But look, I made it late, but I made it Puerto Rican style, baby. So please excuse me and work with this culture. But today it's because I really didn't feel good. So before we get started, where's that camel? Look what the wonderful, amazing, most incredible, magnificent, magnanimous, many times, hubby. <laughs> Look what the hubby Lance got me. Where's that camel? <laughs> Yes, and he's got all this cool looking hair. You like the camel? You like the camel? You like the camel? You like the camel? If you like the camel, just give this a thumbs up. <laughs> Why not? I give the camel a thumbs up. Isn't that how? This is just so cool. Where's that camel? It's hump day. <laughs> Which means it's Wednesday. This is where the hump comes and then it goes down because it's just Thursday and Friday live. That's what that means. Not just that, he's in a commercial. I believe it was Geico. Might be incorrect. We'll have to look it up and put it down below. Not today, another day. All right, so let's get started. What are we talking about today? My challenges. And guess what? I remembered. Why? Because I wrote it down. Not last one, the last video I did, but the one previous to that, I let you know we we're going to talk about my challenges a little bit. Let's get to moving. So, what is she wearing today? Oh, yeah. What do you think? What do you think? This is my gym outfit. As you can see, it says gym here. Ooh, can you see it? And it says gym here. Ooh, can you see it? Because you got to remind yourself of what you're going to do. <laughs> In case you forget because you get busy with life. And then what is the shirt that I'm wearing with these pants? It's my don't worry, be happy shirt. Why? Because when you go to the gym, sometimes you look at yourself or you look at the things you got to do and you're like, ugh, ugh, ugh. No matter what face I make, I'm still going to the gym because it's a don't worry, be happy day. <laughs> so this is my don't worry, be happy shirt. What, what? Okay, so as you can see, my colors maybe don't match too much. Okay, because I love loud colors, and sometimes I just don't care to match. I think it's okay not to. Why? It's part of being human, and it's okay. Plus, we got to practice the art of not judging ourselves. So when I wear non-matching stuff, I just practice the art then really well of not judging myself, because I love it. Okay, so let's continue on. What is the craft for today? So, you know, I attend a class every Thursday here in Florida, Sun City Center. Side-by-side, side, stampers is what they're called, and I attend it, and all we do is make cards. So each of us take a turn to teach a card, and we all do that. I haven't done my turn yet, but I will. So this is one of the cards we learned to make, and that was the last Thursday I was here. Look how cool that is. And then it's a, a stepper, like a stepper card, but it has another name right now. <laughs> I don't know it, okay? We'll call it a fancy fold. Why not? And that's what it looks like. And then you put your message in there, which I still have to do. White piece of paper goes in there. Looks like this. I went ahead and edged it. I don't know if you can see that I edged it. It's got yellow around it to match the yellow on my card. And then it goes right there. So when you read, you read the message. So I made, because it was such a simple card to make, even though it doesn't look that way, it's simple. Because all you do is you cut it and then you score it. And then you apply that. And of course, you got to apply it so it fits. So here's that. Okay, look at that. Is that not the cutest? It's just too cute. All right, so I believe Debbie K taught that card, and I can't remember the second person, so I'm so sorry. But Debbie K, thank you so much for teaching that awesome card. Do I have that right? If I don't have that right, please forgive me. All right, so moving right along. All right, so what's the same for today? 
So I am going to link this down below. I am. And I so invite you. It's only like four minutes. Please click on it. So this comes from Carlos, who is part of the hotel, Terrestres Hotel, in, it's called uh, Escondido Hotel, something, Escondido, Mexico. So it is in Mexico. So, okay, when you see the video, I'll tell you all the information that I am forgetting. Not my best day. I should have it all written down. Why not? Make life easier. But as awesome humans, we allow ourselves to make these mistakes. All right. So, Carlos, I so thank him for the creation and the design. He's part of the design team. And what he created is called Hotel Terrestre. And I invite you to look it. I'll link it down below. And you just click on it. And you'll be able to see how it's written. Hotel Terrestre. And it's in Escondido. There's a beginning to that part. Mexico. So, I cannot wait to you see this video. It's incredible. So one of the parts that he talks about, and you'll hear it verbatim when he says it, mine is just little tits and bits that I put together. So he says that every part of our life should be intentional. Every part of our life should be intentional. What I'm doing right now, I am intentionally being here, sharing time with you, spending time with you, making the mistakes I made, all of them. <laughs> Some non-intentional, but most intentional. So that's one of the things he says. The other thing he says is that travel is an intentional interruption of life's rhythms. Oh my God, isn't that so cute and perfect? Travel is an intentional interruption of life's rhythm. And it doesn't have to be like we traveled to Aruba last week or traveling to another state. It could be you traveled to your job. You can make that a part of your life that you traveled to your job. You interrupted whatever was going on and you are intentionally interrupting life's rhythm. But the one Carlos is talking about is true travel and not just traveling to different parts and places and countries and cities and states. He's talking about the kind of travel where we have no gadgets whatsoever. I don't think there's a room door either. And you just connect with nature fully. But I do believe he means any type of travel is an interruption to life's rhythms. I love that. I love that. I love that so much. And I invite you to interrupt life's rhythm as much as you can, especially when they're negative. Why not? And if it means you travel out your door, because we're going to bring this to a smaller microcosm. You travel out your door and you go to the mailbox, you just travel. So interrupt all you can. <laughs> all right, next. Let's talk about today's talk. Yes, yeah, she's got her notebook. Okay, notebook. And I gave this a name. Remember, I had the homework to name my gadgets. So this gadget is called I See. <laughs> Why not? I have to use it all the time. And what does it do? It helps me see. So this gadget is called, anytime I grab this gadget, I'm going to say, oh, I see. So you know what? It calms down to take things so personally. So let's talk about some of my challenges. So I know we all have challenges. It is so good to verbalize our challenges and share them with someone you love, you care about, someone who cares about you, someone who's not going to criticize you or put you down because of your challenges, just someone who supports you, okay? So I am sharing them with you today so you can practice the art of sharing your challenges instead of hiding with them, instead of being mad at them, instead of getting annoyed with them because they can be a really big challenge. <laughs> that was good. All right, so... I have chronic neck, chronic back, chronic right shoulder, chronic right arm, chronic pain in all these parts. My neck, my back, the whole entire back, the top, the middle, the lower back. All of it is challenged to include my right arm, my right shoulder, and I am right-handed. I also have to be in voice therapy now because I am challenges having challenges with my voice. I also have my left leg has varicose veins that you can actually see. They're like there. And which means a problem with circulation, my leg. 
And they say that both of them can be having that because I have the little ones too. So that's an indication of problem. And it goes all the way to my thighs. So they wanted me to wear thigh highs. No. <laughs> so sometimes I try, sometimes I can't. That stuff is really uncomfortable. So anyways, also have visual, severe visual challenges. Also deemed legally blind by the VA, but I also have uh, challenges with my eyes. It, it's really unique how my eyes are, work and are challenged. And maybe we'll do one segment one day on my eyes because we don't have a lot of time here and I don't want to take up a lot of your time. So those are some of my challenges. Let me make sure I got them all. I'm also in dance therapy and I am in dance therapy to help with the pain that I experience due to I have chronic pain with all these different parts and then my leg so dance therapy is not just the art of dancing which i do love that in itself creates mental and physical wellness and it lets you work on yourself without intentionally working on yourself even though i said let's be intentional there are some things that sometimes the intention of doing it will lead you not to do it. So when it comes to dance therapy, it's like you are intentionally working on you, but your brain really doesn't know that's what's happening. So it does it with so much fun. But it also includes learning how to massage, PMR, progressive muscle relaxation, and it includes other things, working my body with a, a tennis ball or a small ball to relax all these muscles so I can have less pain and I can do more. The other thing I am challenged with is depression, severe depression, if I don't take care of myself, and anxiety. And you know, those things are not easy for me to say, just like they're probably not easy for most of us to say. But if we do not start making it easier to say, yes, I am challenged with depression, I am challenged with anxiety. I am challenged with OCD, which is part of anxiety. Any type of anxiety, any type of depression, any type of psychosis, schizophrenia. If we do not learn bipolar to become more accepting of ourselves with these challenges and saying them out loud, and me being a licensed mental health counselor, and a doctor of mind wellness, it is very difficult for me to be like, oh, guess what? I am challenged with depression when I'm trying to teach you how to take care of your mind. It comes together. They work together. You can't have one without the other. The problem is, is that we focus more on one and hide the other. No more hiding the challenges we have. I am challenged with depression due to all these things, secondary to my chronic and visual challenges, neck challenges, life challenges, but there is a difference between sadness and depression. And maybe we'll do a segment on that one day. But I wanted to share with you all my challenges today. And I welcome you to share them also. Why not? As a matter of fact, you could comment down below what you are challenged with today or in life, whether it's depression, anxiety, psychosis, delusions, hallucinations, whatever it is, share it down below. And you know what also would be wonderful? If you share what things you do to feed the wellness and unfeed the depression, the anxiety, the bipolar challenge, because these things are challenges we face. But when we talk about our physical, we talk about it like that. Oh yeah, I'm challenged with my neck and back problems. We say it like it's nothing. Oh, I have a poop problem. We say that like it's nothing. But when it comes to depression, we act like our mind can't get sick. A mind can catch a cold and a flu, just like our body can catch it too. It just does it differently. Our mind can get sick, just like our body gets sick. Our mind can get illness, just like our body gets illness. So, today, I welcome you to share, 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 share the challenges you face. And if you like, you can add a second thing, which is, what do you do? So what I'm doing today, I'm going to gym with the hubby. And why am I going to gym with the hubby? Because I am going to do my yoga. I do my yoga for those who are physically challenged. I love her so much. She's on a YouTube channel. And I love doing yoga with her. I rarely do it, but it is so good for me. And it's only 20 minutes. I can only handle so much yoga. Because it's not my favorite thing to do. But I also do Tai Chi. So you can also comment down below, below what kind of things you do. Okay, I've taken too long. Me and my buddy here. Ooh, we should do a segment on what we should name. What day is it? Hub J. Okay, 
We wish you a wonderful, beautiful, amazing day. And thank you for sharing time with me again. Take care. Bye-bye.